Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play Total Annihilation. I'm your host, Nerus. And I'm Steel Pudding. And I'm Brooklyn Proofer. And this is Core Mission 6. Uh, Core Mission 6 is actually a pretty standard uh, base building slugfest. You, you build a base, the arms start off with some stuff that's a base, and. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that the secret command? <laughs> it, it might be. <laughs> Honk. Oh my god. I told you this one I told you this one was special. <laughs> now I can see why. <laughs> I was getting uh I was getting whinged at by certain other uh, members of the thread. <laughs> and that I that I hadn't showed off the sing command yet, so I decided to show off the sing command. <laughs> I, I, I'd actually never used that before. <laughs> well, now you have, and I suggest you get used to it because this goes for about thirty-eight minutes. Oh my god! And there's going to be singing for all of it. This is your fault, gentlemen. You asked for this. No, probably not you specifically, but someone out there asked for this. <laughs> okay. Now your beagle plant is trapped. Is it? Oh yes, but that's yeah. okay because I'm building a construction vehicle. Who's going to reclaim that node? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that works. Yeah. This is an odd. Like this is kind of an odd map design. Um, I don't realize it for quite a while, but um, like the way this map is sort of set in a great big C-ish shape, and sort of we're yeah. at the bottom of the sea, and then there's a huge blob lake of lava, and there's also this huge sort of lake of lava that runs right up the right side of the map, and I'm not entirely sure why it's there. I think that the game, ex like the developers, expected you to sort of. Um, like use planes and sort of fly up the side and attack the arm base, which is up to the north, with you know, in a sort of less defended area. But it sort of isn't really a less defended area. There's a whole bunch of anti-air stuff there anyway, so I don't really know. Um, I, I, it's I a don't. Trap. Yeah, I, I don't really bother with air because um, I don't really feel that total annihilation's air, with the singular exception of a certain advanced uh, aircraft, which we'll meet later, <laughs> is actually worthwhile um, as anything other than support forces. Like, I think air is an excellent support force, but I don't really think it's a good primary force, so I tend to avoid using that. Oh my god, this command. Oh, oh it, it's going to get worse, you see. <laughs> whenever, yeah. See, whenever a unit, whenever a unit finishes uh, issuing, finishes a command that I have issued it, especially for example, construction units. Whenever a construction unit begins construction or finishes construction, it plays a little sound. Normally, that sounds like a wow, but with the plus sing command, <laughs> it's a sing. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> This is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure if it's brilliant or terrible or both. I, I'm, I'm leaning towards both. It's better with both. <laughs> <laughs> and it would normally make a beep sound. I, I just used the control D command, which I'm not sure if I've talked about before, but you can oh. basically make it self destruct. And normally it would go boop, 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 boop. Oh. But with plus sig. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Still over half an hour of this. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Someone out there thought this was a good idea. And this is me discovering. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it, it, it turns turns out the arm decided that they wanted to uh, come down and say hello, but ran. Straight into my commander. 
and yeah. decided that that was a really bad idea and ran away again. <laughs> Actually, what happened was they came down and then they heard the singing and ran. <laughs> That's entirely possible. More likely. That uh, area where my commander is in is, I believe, going to be the center for the ma majority of the battles in this mission. For some inexplicable reason, the arm dis AI decides that it's going to build about half a dozen, oh no, like two or three advanced K-Bot labs right there. Like, it's going to have a base there. It's going to build defenses. It's going to have advanced K-Bot labs. It's going to produce... This is a place where it is going to be, and I have no clue why, but it is determined to build a base right where my commander is currently standing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And well, because there's be determined to self destruct, and because there is one single kind of at, slightly above average metal spot there, I am refused to let the AI uh, build a base there, <laughs> which results in some conflict. Something in well, total like annihilation totally resulted in conflict. <laughs> Well, I'm unfortunately, I just couldn't find a peaceful resolution to my problems. Should you build some slashers? I lied. I couldn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> I am weak. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, those are bombers. bombers. Yeah. <laughs> this is the point where I'm like, oh. I wish I had some slashers. Fortunately, yeah. the arm is really dumb, and the arm has all these bombers that completely fuck me up. But because it's the AI, it sees my commander. <laughs> you run away. It sees my commander and decides, I'm going to try and kill that. It's just really kind of dumb, because if the, arm wanted, the AI wanted to, it could just destroy that entire thing I've got up there and completely ruin everything, but instead, no, see? These bombers are all going to chase after my commander and run right into my slasher. <laughs> Still aren't building any slashers. Yeah, I. Well, <laughs> that that was actually an error on my part. I thought the I, I like I saw that first slasher there, and I thought. Yeah, basically, I thought I was building slashers, and then I looked at it and I'm like, oh, wait, I'm not building slashers. I'm building a construction vehicle. <laughs> Fortunately, the uh, map starts you out with a crasher, so uh, I'm not completely defenseless. Unfortunately, my metal extractors were also targeted. But you could build I never thought that the world. metallic... I never thought that, like, the robotic crunching sounds would be comforting, but after, after <laughs> the thing command... Uh, it's been done. The command has been demonstrated. Let us never speak of it again. I am, I'm on board with that. Yeah, pulverizers. That's the thing. Guess check one units. Well, yep. and also against air units. The AI has already demonstrated that it appreciates the use of bombers by bombing my commander. And I can see little red dots flying around up there. And that red dot, which is currently on the minimap, is in fact a construction aircraft because it flew in and then stopped, and the second red dot appeared next to it. So I know the computer is using aircraft. Which means I need anti air. Yeah, probably a good idea. And you if you were paying attention to the minimap, you just noticed something rather important that I didn't. Which is all these dudes. Oh my <laughs> spider. Oh Whoa. To which my response is, oh, bugger. And my um, response is, oh, hey, it's the pretty battle music. 
I was particularly irritated by that attack because it happened just before I was, just like as I was setting my construction vehicle up to reinforce that location. <laughs> Fortunately, my production of slashes has given me some defensive me measures I can take. And it seems that the computer doesn't like being bombarded from outside its sight range by slashes and it probably starts running around in circles wildly. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, oh, that'll yeah, help, yeah. I guess. See all those that's those crasher and the two slashes up there that are doing fuck all? You can thank the spider for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the spider is so cute. Spiders are incredibly irritating to fight against. I don't build them very often because I don't typically build arm advanced vehicles because arm advanced vehicles are kind of crappy. But I so I, I never really realized just how irritating they can be in an army. <laughs> Until <laughs> now. I love that construction aircraft in the middle of the fight, building the metal extractor. I told you! I told you the arm was determined to build a base there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the AI is, like, hard-coded to... See, look, there's a construction K-Bot coming down, it's gonna start building an advanced K-Bot lab. I'm pretty sure the arm is hard-coded to just go down there and build a base, because... It goes down there and it builds a base! The AI is very stubborn. Especially in the campaign where it's got a whole bunch of scripted uh, things to back it up. In the in multiplayer, in, the skir in skirmishes, the AI is less stubborn and more... Stupid? Completely and totally random. fucking random. <laughs> I was going to go for. Yeah, I don't want to be... Oh, there's a construction the vehicle there too now. Enable maps decides to build K bots instead of enable things. Oh yep. man, yeah, I love whenever I'm playing a, uh, a skirmish against the AI and I see on their island like a huge force of uh, vehicles and K bots just at the edge of the island trying to walk towards me. Yes. I think the first time I discovered the. Um, 1,000 units patch, which at the time was like, you know, huge. Um, this was before the 1,500 patch, and um, I probably set out and I think I played a game on, it's not Seven Islands, but there's this core map that was added in CC, which has these four metal islands with like yeah, walls metal in the middle. Yeah, I forget what it's called, but uh, I went and played that against three enemy computers, and I sort of messed around with two of the computers, but didn't really pay a whole attention to the third one. And when I finally got around to getting radar cover coverage over the third one's island, I discovered that the entire thing was just a single mass of green. Yeah. <laughs> and upon further investigation, the vast majority of that mass turned out to be Tech 1 vehicles. Yep. 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 Sounds familiar. Which actually turned out to be somewhat annoying because a large number of those vehicles turned out to be the um, arm anti-air vehicle, whatever the hell it's called, I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> I think they're called Samsons. Samsons, that's it, yeah. With the vast oh. majority of those, uh, well not the vast majority, but about half of the Tech 1 vehicles turned out to be Samsons, which made my uh, previously undefeated force of, air, air force of Hawks and Brawlers, uh, <laughs> well, it certainly slowed them down a bit. They got through eventually, but not without significant reinforcements. Yeah. yeah AI is back. <laughs> building oh, lots of stuff. Building a metal extractor, like <laughs> it's building a metal extractor, and it's brought two construction K bots and a construction vehicle and another construction vehicle. It's and I've already destroyed one construction K bot, so it's brought down about three construction aircraft, two construction vehicles, and three construction K bots to that location to build a base. It is determined to build a base there. <laughs> that, is, that is pretty fucking awesome. I just love how stubborn the AI is. It's just like 
It's, it's going to build a base there. I'm not going to stop it. Even with all these slashes, I am not stopping it. It's just like, no, I will build a base here. You should build a heavy <laughs> laser tower there. At the moment, I'm um, investigating my options. I want to see what advanced uh, sort of vehicles I have at my disposal, and what normal vehicles I have, and basically the tools I have to destroy the arm. Because I'm not familiar with the core missions, and I don't know what I can build. Yeah. Well, here's an advanced construction oh. cable. <laughs> That's just <laughs> sad. And it, it was, that the best part is that advanced construction cable. The uh, the AI sent that advanced construction cable down to reclaim some buildings, to wreckage. Oh, oh and look, there we go. And <laughs> advanced cable <laughs> lab. <laughs> There's another advanced construction cable. <laughs> Such a waste. <laughs> you just you, you, have, you just have to admire the stubbornness. <laughs> I do. I mean, not only is it... I mean, I know it's scripted to want to build a base there, but even so, the... It's about to building a mower line. <laughs> it's just so determined to build a base there. And I know that it's scripted to do it, but I'm still impressed that it's, like, continuing <laughs> with this. That it hasn't given up yet. It's also worth noting that uh, ARM-6, I didn't even have metal makers, but Core 6, I have advanced uh, vehicles with Moho mines and advanced radar. Nice. The ARM seem to lag behind the core when it comes to uh, getting their technology. Yeah, it's a shame that the uh, vehicle plant restricted the best core vehicle and actually probably the best tank in the game from being built. Yes, the Goliath. I and it is indeed the, the best tank in the game. And in fact, it is arguably one of the best ground units in the game. If not the best. You're building a lot of, uh, a lot of missile launchers. Oh no! Well, I am, a B I am against primarily a tech force of Tech 1 uh, enemy K-Bots. And missile launchers are cheap as shit. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't criticizing, I was just noticing. Oh no. Now you're scouting with the construction aircraft. I need to get line of sight on those for those pulverizers <laughs> yeah. so that the uh, 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 the AI would stop killing my construction vehicle. Finally, some reapers. Yes, I was disappointed that I wouldn't have uh, be able to produce a big swarm of goliaths to stop the arm, but uh, I had to decide to head to the reapers. Yeah. It's now, no, no, now that I've got my advanced radar up, that there's, it's not like the arm is extended, like the yeah, AI has extended its base down here. It is deliberately sending it's units right down here to build a base. base. Yes. <laughs> it's like, it's, oh it is just hard-coded to build a forward base at this location, regardless of whether or not building a forward base at that location is even remotely feasible. <laughs> well, it must be said that it's a good place what? to build a base. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. That's uh, poor cop. The poor TAAI. <laughs> oh my god. It really isn't very good. <laughs> <sighs> oh man. So you're gonna produce a billion reapers. Pretty much. Um, the majority of my attacks will consist of basically a bunch of slashes spearheaded by some reapers. That's a good good uh, for this map, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm currently, I, I think, I build a K-Bot lab and I build an advanced construction K-Bot. 
to check and see if I can get uh, any heavy keybots like cans out, but it still won't let me build any keybots other than the pyro, so... Reapers oh, no. and Slashers is uh, my best bet on this map, I conclude. Yeah. Cans are pretty awesome. Yes, if I had, if I had the ability to build cans, I probably would have built a whole bunch and uh, had them wander up. I mean, they're fat and slow, but they're you know fat and slow in the satisfying I have gigantic heavy fucking lasers kind of way. Yeah. 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 That's one of the things I don't enjoy playing core. <laughs> But. Well, speaking of, as the resident core player, it's kind of one of the things I like, you know, like the slow and steady with the race kind of angle. The core definitely have a uh, slower, more deliberate, I guess, gameplay than the arm. Or the arm unit, in fact, arm units in general, I believe, are faster and more maneuverable than core units. Yeah. It, it, it. Whereas core units, I believe, have slightly better hit points and slightly better damage. I know the core light laser tower is stronger than the arm light laser tower, but also more expensive. And that doesn't speak much. It, yeah, <laughs> it's not huge. It's not, <laughs> we're not talking like you know double damage or anything. We're talking like a couple of extra points of damage here and there. Yeah, and light laser towers suck. Pretty. Uh, light 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 laser towers with dragon's teeth around them are actually a pretty good counter to most tech one missiles. Yeah. I mean, they, they won't hold off a concentrated assault by, you know, 20 hammers or something like that, but against just, uh, you know, a small number of, especially against peewees. a number of, of peewees and flashes, a light laser tower with dragon's teeth around it will... It, it's a pretty good defense to throw up, especially since yeah. it's so cheap. And it goes up so quickly. Yeah, that's something that I need to start remembering to do more in our multiplayer games is building the uh, building the dragon's teeth around my defenses because that really does a lot. It does, like a oh, couple of dragon's double teeth. Defense. Oh, it's it's more than double. Like a couple of dragon's yeah. teeth can turn well something like a light laser tower, which normally could kill maybe four or five K-Bot, level one K-Bots before it'll be destroyed. Uh, put some dragon's teeth around it and it can take on like 20 or 30 peewees easily. Yeah, yeah. it's strategic. strategically put <laughs> in a good point. All this metal and nothing to do with it, except Reapers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm only producing 35.2 metal, that's... Actually, it's, it's actually really kind of meh for but the 23 yeah. minute mark against the computer, but that's because I don't have access to uh, Fusion or... <laughs> 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 There's a metal extractor. There is. There you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? Nothing. That's what they're doing. It wasn't even on a metal patch. Nope. Oh, AI. <laughs> <laughs> I can only assume anything else this map. <laughs> I, can, I can only assume that this was going to get even better as we progress through the campaign. I don't remember the AI being this dumb, but then again, I was pretty dumb back then too, so. Yeah. I think that's fair enough. Does the, AI, does the AI even have anything going for it? Um, it starts stuff, off with a lot more up. stuff than I do. Oh yeah, no, I haven't even attacked the AI's main base yet, I've just been poking their uh, forward base. Oh. This uh, this attack force is now going to progress up to their main base and you'll see what defenses they have. 
It's not, like, anything spectacular, but it's solid. Do they have plasma in the panels? I don't think so. I believe it's laser towers and missile uh, towers. I guess it's better this early. <laughs> It, yeah. it, it's enough that any like any early attack force I could build of Tech One units would probably be unable to penetrate. Yeah, especially the new core. No flashes. Yeah, yeah, I can build pyros and I can build specters. I'm like, Bleh. nah. <laughs> More reapers. <laughs> More is good. Mobile radar. Those, yes. uh, what are they called? Um, uh, I think they're uh, the diplomats. Those would diplomats. be pretty handy too. Oh. Or is it Merle? Merle. Couple I of can't laser towers. I think the arm one is the Merle, and the core one is the diplomat. Yeah, I That's believe perfect. so. Uh, yeah. Diplomacy involving firing uh, vertical launch rockets. <laughs> Sounds like a very core ideal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my kind of diplomacy. Diplomacy with fire. That's the uh, core kind of diplomacy too. I think. Yeah, peace through superior firepower. <laughs> Reapers are actually really good. Yeah, they're, they're not tough. bad. That's the thing. Reapers aren't bad. They are the lions just are just better. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it's better than the bulldog, at the least. Uh, yeah, Reapers would actually be better than bulldogs because of the uh, general trend that I have towards slightly faster and slightly weaker. So yeah. the uh, the bulldog is probably slightly faster and slightly weaker than the. Um, the Reaper, and because it's a heavy tank, the speed increase is really all that significant. Yeah. So you don't really notice it as much. And also because it's a heavy tank, its job is basically just so gunfire, so uh, having it be faster yeah. isn't really all that much of an advantage. Indeed. I think that may have a slightly po more powerful cannon. Probably. Probably. Where's your force now? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I built all those missile towers. And my force has discovered the arse end of the arm base. You can see it is uh, somewhat diminished. Well, you have a bigger one now, anyway. Yep. I think. And that one's going to sweep up and clean up. Because I, ha <laughs> I haven't really been paying a lot of attention, and I haven't actually noticed that the map is C-shaped yet. See all those red dots? I think that that's the... Basically, I think I've sort of punched into the third, the first third of the arm base, and that the entire, that entire black area on the top right of the chunk of the map is arm base. Oh. <laughs> so uh, I'm kind of vastly overestimating the uh, opposition I'm going to face here. I have basically just gutted the arm base already. <laughs> I yeah. think that's the threat here. Yeah, well, it's better to overestimate it than underestimate it. Yeah. Also, you may have noticed earlier that um, I started to build some mobile radars but decided, no, I don't need them right now. I'll build another advanced vehicle plan to build some mobile radars with that. They can wait. That decision is going to bite me in the ass. <laughs> I think you can probably guess how. Because, uh, well, this second force I'm sending up right now is going to win the game for me. However, the game will not actually be won when that second force oh, arrives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It will be won sometime afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like poor one. 
Yes, oh, indeed. It is time. precisely like Core 1. Except, <laughs> unlike Core 1, I don't know where the units I'm missing are. <laughs> Which makes it a little bit harder. <laughs> And is one of the reasons why I do not play uh, complete eliminate elimination in multiplayer. Yeah. Because just trying to hunt down one unit is bad enough. Especially with this uh, multiplayer. Oh, and double especially <laughs> with um, core contingency multiplayer because a cloakable fusion reactor produces enough power to cloak itself. Yeah. And yeah. still produce some extra power. Mm. So you can stick cloakable fusion reactors uh, in all sorts of ridiculous places and throw a radar jammer down there so that that's the only thing that you can uh, pick see visibly. You got something that's real hard to find. Yep. Fortunately, the computer doesn't do any of that. Yeah. Do you use the Ctrl Z command? Well, I have in fact already used it uh, earlier in this mission, but to select all of my um, slashes. Yeah, I use it always because yeah. it's easier. I sometimes use it, but I sometimes don't. It depends on the situation. I'm not using it right now because I've got a bunch of Reapers up on the front line, and I don't want to um, select them as well. So yeah. I will have these Reapers up. I and as, as we can see, the computer is actually trying to rebuild itself. If I left it alone, it would probably rebuild itself quite quickly. Yeah. Yeah, with, with that amount of effort, anything is possible. <laughs> Look, I found a hidden uh, aircraft plant that's not building anything. <laughs> He seems to like building uh, factories that don't do anything. Yeah. And build extractors of enemy territory. <laughs> that don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that just explode. And I'm a, this, I think I, this is about when I discover that there's much less arm base than I thought there was. <laughs> Because I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, gotta love that moment of realization. Well, it's better to realize that that than to realize that they have nukes or something. Yeah. Interesting too, because that little rock formation the arms got, the AI's got some defenders up on up there, is actually like they could have had a real one hell of a fortress set up there if they wanted to, but they didn't, and it's kind of disappointing. It would be fun to crack that. Yeah, fortresses on high ground are fun. I would need to bring in the uh, mobile artillery and diplomats and everything. Or diplomats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to remember things. who it was when we played that, uh, the King of the Hill map, who it was that fucked me over with Diplomats. Uh. I don't remember, but whoever it was fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was actually a uh, fish noise. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He ended up destroying my commander with his commander. <laughs> and what are those doing? <laughs> There's a metal spot there. <laughs> oh, just casually building stuff. And now I realize, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> I, I've hit the unit cap, and I've pretty much destroyed the arm base, and the game's still going. It's still going. Oh dear. 
So I get my planes and I just come up and sweep the area. Have planes will give me the vision I need to uh, find the last arm unit and oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I don't know why I just turned off show ranges. <laughs> I love Pyro. Yeah, you reclaimed that metal. It's important that that metal be reclaimed. Yeah. See? Big chunk of lava in the top right. Yeah. But it's okay. I can see the last two red dots at the top. <laughs> Go get them. You're not even gonna show us what they were. <laughs> oh. Where's uh, the victory gongs? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, where, where are the victory gongs? I'm saying, oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how I love this game. <laughs> and hit thus begins what the end of any moderately long Total Annihilation game that does not involve commanded death ends. Uh, th this is how they all end, people. With planes scouring the map one piece at a time. Yeah, you just happen to look at the ice cream map. The level... Yes, and I on some maps, even with commander ends, you can end up doing this. Yeah. Yeah, because some there. people map their commanders. People who off-map their commanders are terrible. Hey, there it is! There's the final unit, right? Got it. Let's kill it. Yeah, it's probably a metal extractor. Angry face! Yes, it's metal extractor. <laughs> <laughs> no gongs! That's not the final unit. Motherfucking... Oh no! <laughs> Where is it? I'm screaming at this point. Where the fuck is it? Look at the map! Look at the map! Where is it? <laughs> right, guess, guess. See if you can guess where the unit is hiding. Um, air unit floating over the lava? Nope. Uh,. Something way up on high ground. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm actually about to kill a whole bunch of units so I can build more mobile radars so I can find out where the fuck <laughs> <laughs> the, end <gun> <laughs> the enemy is. I think I have my advanced construction vehicle head up and build an advanced radar tower at somewhere too. Yeah, here we go. Oh, man. Yep. This is exciting. <laughs> Welcome to Total Annihilation, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta, you gotta find it soon. I mean, there, you really did cover a lot of the map. I don't know where the hell it could be. Neither could I. I had no clue where the hell it was hiding. <laughs> this is the desperation move. Massive random number of patrol points all over the map. Hope they run into something. There it is. What? There was a metal extractor there. <laughs> oh god, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> While my forces were attacking, behind me, the arm built a metal extractor. And then somehow got the construction K-Bot killed away from the metal extractor. So it just sat there, just out of reach of my radars, just out of reach of my units. <laughs> oh, that is, that is wonderfully horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is Core Mission 6. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>